as I had just ex, um, uh, told you, that it would again come back in few seconds, right? So just hold on for few seconds whenever every forty minutes it uh, resets, right? Okay. Yes. So, uh, yeah, is this is the table that we needed to discuss, right? On your notes on page number nineteen, notes of education, page number nineteen, this table has been given to you. If you see. The literacy rate is the highest amongst gens. That's yes. how yes. the literacy rate. And if you see, out of all of them, it is least among Muslims, right? Um, yes. Overall, if you see, averagely, we are scoring over seventy percent, seventy percent only. Others have got seventy percent. Averagely, we are scoring less because of some of the less performing communities, right? So yes. what to do is for uh, now these are the smaller parts and the analysis of it. Why the uh, literacy rate is not going into the country? It is because some of the components, various components. Now here, if you see uh, Hindu, is 65 percent, Sikh, it is 69 percent. So uh, all these components, separate components, must definitely be improved. Yes. All these individual components, once improved, would definitely improve the national average, right? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now that there were certain targets that we kept in our 12th five-year plan. Now, according to the 12th five-year plan, we had uh, a right to education to be implemented as a compulsion, and yes. to improve the attendance, we also wanted to implement all the existing schemes which were run earlier. To be properly, like midday meal scheme. Yes. Can somebody tell me why do you think that the midday meal scheme, midday meal scheme, is essential? Um, so which is? Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. So sir, it was to reduce to reduce the dropout dropout ratio among the students. Okay. Sir, I think. Yes, it is, sir. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, I think because of the midday meal, there are some there are some areas where uh, getting a meal for one time is also very important, and so because of that, the people mm -hmm. are sending their child to the schools. I think for getting that also. Very good. Yes, uh, uh, Shruti. So, sir, go, go with Jignasha because we have. Uh, uh, poor people uh, in our country are not uh, so less. Right. So we uh, need such schemes which will attract the poor people, and yeah. midday meal is one such which will attract uh, people to come and get education for meal. Very good. So guys, oh, uh, overall speaking, what I can say is, hunger for education would be secondary. First of all, hunger for food would be primary. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People yes, sir. Primarily to get food, and that's the reason why for the scheme, they also define certain standards like the calorie per intake should be 300 calories and minimum 8 to 12 grams of protein should be given. Yes. That's the standard minimum, right? This is the minimum standard that they specified. They also specified certain segregated standards for. Uh, elementary school and for secondary school, they also specified that as well. So that is something which needs to deal with, uh, which which deals with the gross enrollment ratio because the enrollments would increase because at least their children, the poor people in the rural areas, they would send their child to the school for at getting at least one time meal, right? One time meal, yeah. And the meal would be provided only in the lunch break after the primary hours. Of the school are over, right? So student will have yes. to come to the school anyhow. Yes. 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 Ah, so that's uh, something which goes hand in hand with the 12 five-year plans, uh, right to education mm -hmm. act being implemented efficiently. We yes. also had one mm -hmm. very, uh, you can say, heroic task to do. That was 80 percent of the literacy rate into the country and the gender gap. To be less than ten percent. Now, gender gap less than ten percent. That means it is still more than ten percent. You can see that here. Can you observe this? 
let's let's observe uh, let's observe here in buddhism if you see 83 percent of the males are illiterate and 61 percent of males yeah right yeah Yes. That's also a very big challenge for us. If we develop, if we work over this, definitely we'll improve upon it. Right? Yes, sir. It also talks about working into the educationally backward blocks, not only the areas which already are performing well. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes. Guys, what amazing. Now listen to my words very, very carefully. For advising central and the state government, a body was set up which was called as Central Advisory Board of Education, C-A-B-E. Central Advisory Board of Education. education. Right. Central Advisory Board of Education, C-A-B-E. State government in the development of the education. Recommended in terms of making of the national policy of education. Yes. Yes. Mm. Now understand, guys. We had education ministry. We had education ministry once we got independent. But that ministry yes. was never called as the Ministry of Human Resource Development. It mm. was in the year uh, uh, 1985, you can say. In the year 1985, according to the Government of India Allocation of Business Rules, 1961, the ministry was named as Ministry of Human Resource Development. Are you clear with this? Yes. 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 So, human resource development, as we have never considered it because we didn't know that education will be so human resource develop hoga. Though it is very late, after almost, we can say, 35 years, we realized that the ministry should be called as Ministry of Human Resource Development. And hence, on September 26, 1985, we established this ministry. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, understand that. It works through two departments. Department of School Education and Literacy, and Department of Higher Education. Hmm. Two departments aggregate kar diya. Ye jo hai Department of Higher Education, it will take care of the university education. This will take care of the school education. Yes? Hmm. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Now, understand. What would be the main responsibilities of the Ministry of Human Resource Development? First of all, this cab that we talked about, they would just recommend, right? They would recommendation. Hmm. But who recommendation to implement the recommendation policy to make the work to do? Are you going to ministry? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. So, on the basis of the recommendations given by Central Advisory Board of Education, the policy formulation at the national level would be done by the Ministry of Human Resource Development and not only the policy formulation, formulation its implementation as well would be taken care. Yes? Yes. yes. Now, listen to it very carefully. They would, uh, they would do the plan development, including expanding access and improving the quality of educational institutions throughout the country, including into the regions where people do not have access to education, right? They would also pay special attention to disadvantaged groups like poor female and uh, minorities. Right? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they would provide all these things which, uh, you know, uh, from tip to toe with respect to education, whatever comes under the purview of education would be taken care by this Ministry of Human Resource Development. Right. Now, there, are United Nations, there is United Nations body that is UNESCO which takes care of education. There is some sort of a disturbance is coming. I'll meet you all.
so encouraging international uh, cooperation is also one of the most important uh, areas which ministry of human resource development takes care of yes okay so guys now we will move on to the different segments and strata of our education system first strata that we take care of is or that the ministry of human resource development takes care of is primary education yes yes okay now jab bhi aap petrol pump pe petrol bharte ho ya kuch jagah pe aap restaurant mein khana khate ho aur kuch jagah pe aap cess pay karte ho तो आपको पता चलेगा कि वहां पर सेस नाम की एक जो टैक्स है वो डिडक्ट करी जाती है और आपके बिलिंग में लिखी जाती है अगर आपने कभी चेक किया होगा तो तो ये जो सेस होता है ये सेस इज द अमाउंट विच गोज टू दिस प्रामाभिक शिक्षा कोष आ जाता है ये प्रामाभिक शिक्षा कोष शिक्षा शिक्षा कोष जो है इसका हाफ जो अमाउंट है हाफ ऑफ इट्स अमाउंट इज प्योरली स्पेंड ऑन सर्व शिक्षा अभियान गाइज and the remaining is spent on mid day meal scheme and the other schemes which are run yes so yes whatever cess is collected by the government to the sale of uh, petroleum petroleum products and some other uh, products as well this cess is utilized for the development of education okay so moving further ahead since the british time when uh, the stanley's report had come lord stanley's dispatch afterwards dispatch had come since that time we had started giving much more emphasis to elementary education in india not only just because uh, the language uh, development happens during this tender age but also because of the character building which happens at this age because they are like very bla- they are like blank chips they would work according to the programming done at the early age right so the students must be caught young and must be trained towards the ethical training ethical education are you clear with this yes sir yes, yes sir okay so but there were very चैलेंजेस इन चैलेंजेस हम लोगों ने बहुत अच्छा काम किया है अभी तक के भी जो भी किया है क्योंकि हमारे पास कुछ चैलेंजेस भी थे जिसकी वजह से हम लोग पीछे हो पीछे रह गए बाकी कंट्रीज के लेवल पे नहीं आ पाए वो ये कि हमारे पास सबसे पहले क्वालिटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नहीं है टीचर स्टूडेंट टीचर रेशियो हम लोग बैलेंस नहीं कर पाए पुअर लेवल तो ट्रेनिंग हो रही है आप लोग पता नहीं कभी एक बार विलेज लेवल के स्कूल्स में जाके देखिए किस तरीके से एजुकेशन देते हैं तो ये कहीं ना कहीं बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है हमारे लिए कि वहां तक के ट्रेनिंग का पहुंचना राइट इफ द ट्रेनर्स देमसेल्व्स आर नॉट ट्रेन देन द स्टूडेंट्स वुड नेवर डेवलप अ लाइकिंग टूअर्ड एजुकेशन गेटिंग दिस राइट सो आज कैसी है कि सबको ये लगता है कि जो लिखा हुआ है दैट इज एजुकेशन जो पढ़ना है लिखा हुआ है वो पढ़ना इज एजुकेशन नो एजुकेशन इज समथिंग एल्स व्हिच इज देयर इन योर वर्ल्ड व्हिच इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इन योर लाइफ व्हिच इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इन दिस वर्ल्ड द बुक्स दैट वी रीड इज द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो यू मस्ट गेट द राइट इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ व्हाटएवर यू आर रीडिंग दिस इज व्हाट एजुकेशन इज education is all about reading between the lines understanding and comprehending the subject in total yes 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 sir, yes, sir. <laughs> okay now to develop education at the district level as well there were certain efforts taken at the district level for this program that is district education revitalized education program now this is universalized primary education in india first of all before sarva shiksha abhiyan universalization of primary education was happening through this program but after sarva shiksha abhiyan coming into picture all these are subsumed under sarva shiksha abhiyan yes 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 sir okay. so now uh, if you talk about maharashtra maharashtra is also doing fairly well um now if you see male literacy is 90% female literacy is, uh, literacy is 75% which is quite well but the gender gap is quite high and we are trying yeah. to reduce the gender gap as well 
let's see how far uh, and how much time will we take uh, for doing this. But pupil teacher ratio is also very less here in, 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 in Maharashtra. One is to 40. So yes, sir. Whichever states the population yes. is more, the pupil teacher ratio would, would be worse. Right? Okay. Yes? Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So yes, now sir. moving further ahead. Ministry of HRD, Government of India, had conducted a sample survey and they found out that out of school children are also quite high in Maharashtra. Right? So they estimated that out of uh, uh, in 2000. Uh, nine, they estimated that 81.51 lakh children are out of school. Okay, out of school, they have never joined schools or they would have uh, enrolled but are still out of school. Right? Yeah, so, okay. considering them, uh, these out of school children, we consider this age group, that is 6 to 13. Right? Six to 13. Yes, sir. Consider this, 6 to 13 years because we are much more concerned about 6 to 14 years of age. Yes? Yes. 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 Out of school children in Maharashtra okay, never enrolled, these are 59% and dropouts were 41%. So, what do you do? What is the difference between the two? If you enroll in the two, you can 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 enroll in the two, you Society may education to lake jo awareness ever come of the jari parents jo hai or students jo hai could he hoke drop out hore ya fe parents unko nikalware you ke unko could ki kame lagwana hai ya fe agriculture me lagwana hai but cheko if we paral palike ya karlega jergo yaparake perisat ali chalana hai it may so fair education like a kamat love. So, ऐसे काफी लोग आज भी हैं जो लोग एनरोलमेंट करवाने के बाद भी बच्चों को निकलवा देते हैं स्कूल से, right? And there are certain social taboos as well, because if let's say there is someone from the lower social background enrolls into the school, the other people do not like it. Hmm. In all the government hmm. schools these days, we have got uh, the reservations for civil caste and children right? Right. So some of the people from from who consider themselves as uh, belonging from the higher uh, casts into the society, they do not like it, right? So that's the reason yes. why they tend to go towards the private educational institutions and uh, uh, training centers rather than going to the government uh, institutions. Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, now, guys, uh, in two thousand nine. Now this survey was conducted in 2009 and uh, uh, a new development also came in 2009. That development helped us a lot. That is right to education. I don't know how many of you got benefited of, out of it, but I am not the beneficiary of it. <laughs> <laughs> because according to 2009 act, right to education, art, uh, article 21A was incorporated in 2002 and uh, after that right to education act came into being so rt uh, right to education became your fundamental right in 21a in 2002 with the mm. insertion of 21a right article yes yeah. 21 21a 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 incorporation was samvidhan mein Lekin Mapar Kalka has said to be free and compulsory education to be given for a child in the age group of 6 to 14 years. Right? No idea. But you this is an idea you can be reservation Rakna Padega, Nay Rakna Padega, but you fail Nay Karna say, Artvi Kaksha Sepel, so fail Nay Karna. Master Loka, what meets the Mapar of the Alde Vachoko market. So, what's up with Right? So, this is the detailing. 
ये सब डिटेलिंग राइट टू एजुकेशन एक्ट में आई आर्टिकल ऑफ राइट टू एजुकेशन टू एजुकेशन सिस्टम इन इंडिया अकॉर्डिंग टू विच फ्री एंड कंपल्सरी एजुकेशन इज डेफिनेटली देर फ्री एजुकेशन मीन्स दैट नो चाइल्ड अदर देन अ चाइल्ड हु हैज been admitted by his or her parent to a school which is not supported by the appropriate government will be liable to pay any kind of fee or charges or expenses which may prevent him or her from pursuing and completing elementary education okay it means no child would be asked to pay the amount except if any parent uh, admits their children to some private organization which is not aided by the government wahan par pay karna padega ठीक है प्राइवेट पे करना पड़ेगा तो सबसे पहले उन्होंने क्या बोला कि सबके बच्चों की विसिनिटी में स्कूलिंग स्कूलिंग आ जाए बच्चों को आठवीं कक्षा से पहले फेल नहीं करना है कैटेगरी स्कूल्स जो है अनएडेड स्कूल्स टू एडमिट इन क्लास वन एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट चिल्ड्रेन बिलोंग टू दीकर सेक्शन एंड डिसएडवांटेज ग्रुप तो पहली कक्षा में 25 परसेंट लोग जो है वीकर सेक्शन से होने ही चाहिए मिनिमम मिनिमम होने चाहिए क्लियर पीपल टीचर रेशियो शुड आल्सो बी इम्प्रूव्ड इन्होंने यहाँ पर कुछ स्पेसिफिक टर्म नहीं डाली क्योंकि हम वो स्पेसिफिक टर्म डाल के कभी भी अचीव नहीं कर पाए तो हम लोगों ने क्या सोचा कि भाई इसमें हम लोग सिर्फ मैंशन कर देते हैं कि भाई पीपल टीचर रेशियो जो है वो हम इम्प्रोवाइज करे बस फिलहाल में Now, once the teachers are also deployed, the teachers should be quality teachers. They should know yes. how to train, and they should also know how to uh, try to generate some sort of interest into the students in learning. Now, if you see, you people are yes. grown up. You people know what is the importance of education, and why should you attend the lectures? Why should you go for education? You understand that. but if we talk about students who have just begun learning they are very well very much averse of going from school right they are very much averse of going to school they are they do not want to go to school right many of them but some of the children who go to the private institutions they like going to schools right yes why because the kind of environment that the schools have created are really helping the students to like or to develop the liking education liking towards the education right yes now supreme court also had given a judgment that the that even in the uh, private primary schools they can the private primary schools cannot impose mother tongue as the language in between class 1 to 4 there cannot be a compulsion on anyone who would decide hmm. the child's mother tongue their parents and the guardians would decide what would uh, his mother tongue would be so private unaided schools and linguistic minority institutions are outside the purview of mother tongue as a medium of instruction but where is private primary schools i'm talking about private primary schools would be not allowed state uh, state cannot impose over that but uh, If you talk about private primary schools, which are aided by the government, mark my words very carefully, guys. Aided. I'll just underline here. Private primary schools. I'll repeat. Private primary schools between the class one to four cannot impose mother tongue uh, uh, barriers if they are aided by the government uh, uh, funding. Mm. Is that clear? But yes. unaided schools. I am again repeating, right? Private unaided schools. can impose that okay because while mm-hmm. discussing article 21a i talked about three types of uh, educational institutions and schools one mm-hmm. which seeks recognition from the government and aid from the government second yes. which seeks recognition from the government but no aid from the government and third which seek we does not even seek rec- uh, uh, recognition and not even the aid from the aid. government right so ye jo pehla institution hai jiska aid government se aata hai aur jiski recognition bhi 
गवर्नमेंट देती है ऐसे इंस्टीट्यूशन या फिर प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूशन जो रिकोगशन लेते हैं लेकिन प्राइवेट कुछ एड जो है वो गवर्नमेंट से लेते हैं एडेड फंड उनके पास आता है तो वो लोग जो है बैरियर्स नहीं लगा सकते प्राइमरी स्कूलिंग में लैंग्वेज का मदर टंग का राइट यस मदर टंग बैरियर प्राइवेट और प्राइवेट स्कूल्स कर सकते हैं जो अनएडेड है क्योंकि वो प्राइवेटली ऑपरेट होते हैं और जैसे इफ यू हैव सीन दैट सम ऑफ द कॉन्वेंट व्हिच आर देयर दे मे हैव इफ दे आर रनिंग सीबीएसई दे मे हैव मराठी दे मे नॉट हैव मराठी राइट सो दैट इज देयर एम आई क्लियर विद दिस गाइस यस यस ओके अह ओके गाइस लेट्स मूव फर्दर अहेड लेट्स मूव फर्दर अहेड अब मैं आप लोग को एक चीज बताता हूँ यहाँ पर सर्व शिक्षा अभियान जो है उसका 2015 जो है उसके गोल्स कुछ अलग ही थे सर्व शिक्षा अभियान के राइट टू एजुकेशन तो आना अभी आप समझे राइट टू एजुकेशन पूरा डिस्कस करके फिर हम लोग एक सर्व शिक्षा अभियान की तरफ मूव करेंगे अब ये देखिए ये पॉइंट बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है अभी यहाँ पर It prohibits physical punishments to the students. Uh, screening of uh, uh, screening procedures for admission of children. Capitation fee. जो लोग school में admission देने के लिए कई बार donation वगैरह collect करते हैं, वो उन्होंने barrier बनाया हुआ है. Private tuition by teachers. कई बार तो ऐसा होता है भाई school में अच्छा नहीं पढ़ाते. टीचर्स लोग जान बुझ के ताकि बच्चा मेरे पास प्राइवेट ट्यूशन के लिए आ जाए राइट तो वो स्कूल में अच्छा नहीं पढ़ाते गवर्नमेंट इंस्टीट्यूशंस में अच्छा नहीं पढ़ाते ये प्रोहिबिट किया हुआ है रनिंग ऑफ स्कूल्स विदाउट रिकग्निशन अभी कई बार क्या करते हैं ये टीचर्स लोग ही बोलते हैं कि भैया ये गवर्नमेंट स्कूल में पढ़ा रहा हूँ मेरी खुद की एक स्कूल है वहां पर भी आ जाओ करके वहां पर आपको अच्छे मार्क्स मिल जाएंगे राइट तो जैसे कि बिना रिकग्निशन वाली स्कूल चलाना शुरू करते हैं तो ये जो है ये बिल्कुल भी अनिथिकल है ये ऐसा हम लोग नहीं कर सकते इसके अलावा भी बहुत सारी दूसरी चीजें जो है दूसरे एस्पेक्ट जो है वो जनरली कोई पिछले एक्ट्स ने नहीं देखा जो मॉरल एस्पेक्ट है जैसे चाइल्ड अब्यूज नहीं होना चाहिए चाइल्ड शुड बी अवे फ्रॉम द ट्रॉमा दे शुड बी अवे फ्रॉम द फियर दे शुड नॉट फियर द टीचर दे शुड बी फ्रेंडली विद द टीचर दे शुड नॉट फियर द टीचर राइट तो ये जो है ये कहीं ना कहीं सम सॉर्ट ऑफ दिस शुड बी देर कमांड ऑफ द टीचर शुड डेफिनेटली बी देर because without which uh, uh, the uh, the student would never learn right but yes they mm. should be very much fearful of that and they should not get into anxiety or some sort of a trauma because of this right so this is what yes. uh, they specified and training of the untrained teachers as we five years should also be conducted right so uh, 86 constitutional amendment jo hai usme usme kuch aur dusre bhi substitution hue jaise 86 से तो 21 ही आ गया ये हम लोग को बात पता है राइट right? 86 सिक्स अमेंडमेंट जो हुआ उससे कौन सा आर्टिकल आया 20 एन ए ट्वेंटी आ गया राइट आर्टिकल फोर्टी फाइव आर्टिकल फोर्टी फाइव क्या है आर्टिकल फोर्टी फाइव इज द डी पी एस टी टॉक्स अबाउट इज स्टेट शेल टेक एंडेवर टू Uh, give oh, all right. kind of care and education to the children between the age group of 6 to 14 years aisa pehle tha yahan par 6 to 14 years tha ab jab 6 to 14 years walon ke liye dhyan rakhne ke liye alag article aa hi chuka tha to kya kiya gaya ye wale article mein 6 saal se kam bacche jo hai un logo ka dhyan rakha gaya right 0 to 6 years okay. am i clear okay yes pehle isme kya tha ke 0 to 14 इयर्स एज तक के जो भी बच्चे हैं जीरो से 14 इयर्स तक के जो भी बच्चे हैं वो लोग कंसिडर करे जाएंगे बट सिक्स टू फोर्टीन वालों के लिए ये बन गया तो जीरो से सिक्स वाले कहा जाएंगे जीरो से सिक्स वाले उन लोगों का ध्यान ये वाला आर्टिकल रखेगा राइट आर्टिकल फोर्टी डिस्कसिंग दिस इन अवर पॉलिटी से भाई बच्चा छोटा है राइट टू एजुकेशन उसका फंडामेंटल राइट है राइट अब ये फंडामेंटल राइट 
उसको मिल रहा है या नहीं मिल रहा है तो कैसे पता चलेगा उसके लिए कोई तो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेना जरूरी है ना किसी का तो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेना जरूरी है तो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी कौन लेगा वो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी यहाँ के देश के नागरिक लेंगे तो ये आपकी जो फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज आर्टिकल फोर पार्ट फोर ए राइट फोर ए के अंडर में जो है पार्ट फोर में तो डीपीएसपी है लेकिन पार्ट फोर ए में है फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज तो फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज में हमारे लिए एक और एक ड्यूटी एड करी गई फिफ्टी वन ए के विच से चाइल्ड विद इन दिस एज ग्रुप शुड ट्राई टू एडमिट दिस चाइल्ड इन टू द एजुकेशन सिस्टम एम आई क्लियर विद दिस Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Guys, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Uh, now, guys, आप लोगों ने ये सुना नहीं होगा, लेकिन हमारा एंथम है एजुकेशन का, राइट टू एजुकेशन का एक एंथम है। चाहो तो कभी सुनना। ये जावेद अख्तर ने लिखा हुआ है और सोनू निगम और सुनील चौहान ने गाया हुआ है। इसको बनाने के लिए मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एचआरडी को यहाँ पर नेशनल फिल्म डेवलपमेंट कॉरपोरेशन ने मदद करी थी वो इसीलिए सबसे पहले ये फॉरवर्ड सब जगह पर प्रोपोगेट हुआ था 2013 से इसको लॉन्च करके प्रोपोगेट करा जा रहा था वो इसीलिए क्योंकि जैसे भी जितने भी गवर्नमेंट स्कूल्स के अंदर में ये शूटिंग हुई है वो गवर्नमेंट स्कूल्स के पिक्चर और इमेजेस दिखा के बच्चों को मोटिवेट करके स्कूल ज्वाइन करने के लिए प्रमोट करना ये इसका इंटेंशन था राइट Yes. Yes, sir. So some of the other people like Katrina Kaif, Ranbir Kapoor, Imran Khan, and Uska Sharma, these are the part of this video. <clears throat> now let's talk about Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan. I have told you about the Shiksha Kosh. The Shiksha Kosh, which is a part collected through CES, it yes. contributes into the Shiksha Abhiyan. Now this Abhiyan is nothing but universal elementary education. सर्व शिक्षा अभियान इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि सारी शिक्षा फ्री में देने वाले हम लोग अभी हमारे हाँ। कैपेसिटी नहीं है सिक्स टू फोर्टीन इयर्स के बीच में जितने भी लोग हैं उन लोगों को हम लोग को यूनिवर्सल एलिमेंट्री एजुकेशन देना है तो अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी ने ये स्टार्ट किया था इट बेसिकली फोकस अपॉन जेंडर एम्पावरमेंट एज वेल एनरोलमेंट रेशियो इम्प्रूवमेंट ग्रॉस एनरोलमेंट रेशियो इम्प्रूवमेंट देन द ग्रेजुएशन रेशियो बींग इम्प्रूव राइट All these things must be taken care. Now, as I had already told you that education lies in the concurrent list. The contribution is from the center and the state. So yes, currently the contribution is 65 to 35. I had already informed you about this, right? But yes. for the special category states like northeastern states, the contribution would be 90 to 10. 90 to 10, right? Even आप लोगों को पहले भी अभी बताया हुआ है. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, the Shiksha Abhiyan is what we say is that the schools should make it better aesthetically. If you make it better aesthetically, if you have proper clean toilets, if you have proper toilets for females, male students separately, clean drinking water, classrooms properly furnished, you know, base furnishing should be there, not completely furnishing can be there now. क्योंकि हम लोग गवर्नमेंट स्कूल्स में अगर देखें तो वहाँ पर फैन भी मिल जाए तो बहुत बड़ी बात है लेकिन सबसे पहले बेसिक जो चीजें हैं वो होनी चाहिए एक बोर्ड होना चाहिए और बच्चों के लिए पढ़ने के लिए किताबें और मटेरियल वो सबसे पहले होना चाहिए और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बैठने के लिए एटलीस्ट जो पानी में या रस्ते पे कहीं बिठा के ना पढ़ाए हम बच्चों को ये सबसे पहला जो है ये होना चाहिए राइट तो ये हुआ तो उसके बाद की फिर नेक्स्ट लेवल इम्प्रूवमेंट होगी कि भाई टीचर की ट्रेनिंग करवाओ फिर बच्चों को सर्व शिक्षा अभियान जो भी स्कूल्स में हम लोग दे रहे हैं वहां पर मिड डे मील स्कीम चालू करवाओ तो उसके लिए किचन बनाना है किचन में फिर जो सप्लाई होता है जो सीरियल्स एंड पल्सेस विच आर बीन सप्लाई टू द स्कूल्स व्हाट काइंड एंड व्हाट क्वालिटी ऑफ सीरियल्स एंड पल्सेस मस्ट बी सप्लाइड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ न्यू हाउ वुड यू मेजर द न्यूट्रिएंट्स हाउ व्हाट इज द कैलोरी कंटेंट व्हिच व्हिच शुड बी गिवन टू एवरी स्टूडेंट वो सब जो है सर्व शिक्षा अभियान के साथ हैंड इन हैंड चलेगा राइट एम आई क्लियर विद दिस यस सर एंड नो इफ यू सी दिस टेबल गिव्स यू द कंप्लीट अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ सर्व शिक्षा अभियान थ्री लैक थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड न्यू स्कूल्स न्यू स्कूल बिल्डिंग्स दीज आर द एडिशनल क्लासरूम्स फोर्टीन लैक 
classroom, two lakh drinking facilities, four lakh toilets, and eight point seven crore per annum free textbooks being distributed under Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan. Right? Yes. But holistically, it also says that promotion of the students from SC, ST category, certain minorities. Some landless uh, agricultural workers and laborers should also be there. They should they should be promoted, right? Gender concerns are definitely there a part of it because that it started from the first national policy of education which was made in 1985. From this we have been trying our best to improve the uh, teacher and pupil uh, ratio. Now, furthermore, educational administrators must must also be trained for that, right? The other stakeholders must also take uh, due, uh, uh, we can say, a complete monitoring should also happen. They should also uh, see everything with due diligence, right? So all the people, all the stakeholders who are involved. Now, who all are the stakeholders? The government is a stakeholder. The people who are paying the taxes for the promotion of the education are the stakeholders. All these people, somewhere or the other, has got a moral. Uh, responsibility towards the children who are being given education in these schools. At times, guys, you would be astonished to listen to this. At times, it was found that the school teachers they go to the school and sit on the table, lies you know, uh, they put their head down on the table. They go to sleep and let the children do whatever they want to do. Hmm. Or कुछ स्कूल में मैं भी एक गवर्नमेंट स्कूल में पढ़ा हूँ मुझे भी पता है ये बात के फॉर अराउंड टू इयर्स आई वाज देयर इन अ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल तो मैंने वहाँ पर भी ये चीज नोटिस करी कि जिस दिन टीचर का मूड नहीं होता है पढ़ाने का तो वो क्या करता है वो बोलता है कि सब लोग अपना अपना काम करना आवाज नहीं आनी चाहिए मेरे तक आवाज नहीं आनी चाहिए सब लोग अपनी अपनी अपना अपना काम कर सकते हैं स्टूडेंट आर ऑल्सो है हमको फ्री पीरियड मिल गया राइट फ्री लेक्चर मिल गया फ्री पीरियड मिल गया बट The thing is that the lecturer does not want to teach. Right? Yes. So he says, "I don't want to teach. Actually, he says, 'I don't want to teach.' 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 Actually, he विलेज uh, एरिया के स्कूल्स में भी हो रहा है राइट हो सकता है नहीं हो रहा है वी हैव सीन दैट देयर आर देयर वाज सर्टेन न्यूज़ ओवर दैट सर यस ओके सो देयर वाज सर्टेन इंटरवेंशंस व्हिच द गवर्नमेंट डिड थ्रू सर्व शिक्षा अभियान लाइक वन टीचर फॉर एवरी 40 चिल्ड्रन इन प्राइमरी एंड अपर प्राइमरी स्कूल शुड बी देयर One teacher for forty. One is to forty. First of all, will balance. At least two teachers in primary school. We must have. There had been schools which just have uh, one teacher at one school. Just oh, one for all the. Pardon me. Uh, for all classes, like all grades. Yes, for all classes. There for primary school. In, so if you see the primary schools, there there are a lot of schools. I'll give you the statistics now. 2011 statistics i'll i'll give you I have, in this notes i have included that yes so there are uh, you know lakhs and lakhs of school, uh, schools uh, as far as i know there are somewhere around 2 lakh schools primary schools in our country right so which have got only one teacher training there one teacher you know that's quite ridiculous at least that guy is there to take care of the children but other What about the government? What the government is doing? They should definitely step in and then increase the number of the teachers there. Now, alternative schooling facility should also be there, right? Within one kilometer of every habitation, there has to be schooling. This is what Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan says. In some of the uh, uh, areas, they were able to do this needful, but not in all of the areas. And it's not about just improving the number of schools. कि भाई आपने स्कूल का जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलप कर दिया एक स्कूल बना दी और बच्चों को बोले ये स्कूल है और बच्चे वहां जा रहे हैं अपना यूनिफॉर्म खरीद लिया एक किताब खरीद ली और जाके बैठे हैं एंड देयर इज नो वन टू ट्रेन देम राइट देयर हैज टू बी प्रॉपर 
outcome based education which must be spread no 